Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial on importing into Blender. Uh, it's actually relatively simple. Um, so you take your object or your project or whatever you've got uh, going on that you want to import. Make sure it is finalized because making changes in Blender is a pain in the butt uh, when it's starting from a sketchup file. So make sure you have your final product here and we want to go up to file and we want to go to export and then 3D model. We want to make sure it's a .obj, a wavefront object file. Um, let's name it something accordingly. Uh, this looks like a desk that would be in a crappy office job. So let's call it a crappy office job desk. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Uh, we want to go to options before we export it because this needs to be checked. Export edges, got to be checked. Uh, I'll explain what that does later. And OK, hit export. No, not there, hit export. All right, so now we can go into Blender. Now in Blender, let's delete this cube, that startup cube, and let's go up to File, and let's go to Import, and we want to import a .obj. Now let's find that file. You can scroll through it using these guys. It's your desktop. Here's your uh, stuff in your desktop, and we want to go to our crappy office job desk. Let's import it, and here we are, uh, looking exactly the same as it did in SketchUp. Um, there are some issues, as you can tell with these blue uh, pieces under here that change color a bit too much. Um, these black faces can be an issue too, we'll have to figure out what that is. Um, but for the most part, this is pretty good, it's a great start for sure. Um, it's all the right shape. Um, if you want to scale it, you can, hitting S. Um, that's not going to hurt it. Um, so, I'll actually explain to you why we click that button that says um, export edges. Um, so if we click on this uh, tabletop here, this countertop, we hit tab to go into edit mode. Again, that's down here as well. We were in object mode, that's how you select different stuff, uh, different parent stuff basically, and then to edit that actual vertice, you go into edit mode. Now you can see this countertop got transferred into all uh, triangles, or mostly triangles at least, and that's because of this curve right here. Um, you know, not, nothing you can really do about that. You can go in later and clean it up if you need to, if you need to modify it, but ideally you just don't want to touch it if you don't have to. Um, but not everything is vertices, um, or is a triangle, sorry. The curves are going to create the triangles, but in something like this, if you go into tab, edit mode, this is perfectly quads um, because it's square. And again, there's no curves. Um, so what's nice is that we could then, you know, maybe edit this wall easier um, um, because it's not um, not all full of triangles. Because triangles are going to be, they're going to extrude weird, and they're going to you're stretching, and your sizing is going to be weird um, if you're not sizing the whole thing proportionally. So um, that's it. That's important to Blender. Um, I will hopefully be releasing a video showing you how to clean up a model like this um, at, it, to different various stages um, because you do want to rotate some of the faces um, to make sure that they are facing the right way because there is actually an inside and an out to a model. Um, and I'll have more about that later. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. And if you need help, you can always ask me or Jeremy, and we would be glad to help you figure this out. If, uh, I made a mistake or I missed something here. So thank you.